بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم If you think about the mission and the goal of Zaytuna College, I would have to say that we are building institutions. And the Prophet ﷺ was the first to build an institution. In essence, if you want to build a society, you need to plan for a thousand years plus. What we are celebrating today is an outcome of 1,435 years, even longer than time itself, because time is a created element. Our road to Zaytuna starts not today with this important graduation. Not in 2009, when we officially shifted from institute to college, nor was it with the founding of Zaytuna Institute in 1996, a blessed occasion indeed. This education of ours goes all the way back to Adam and direct divine knowledge that was, that was and is transmitted one prophet to another and from one generation to another. In our case, we are partaking in the transmission from our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the first educational institution in Mecca, Darul Arqam, the Prophet's mosque in Medina to be followed, then on to Syria and Jerusalem, Baghdad's Dar al Hikmah and the Nizamiya schools, Al Qayrawan, Zaytuna University and Al Azhar, Cordoba, Toledo and Grenada, to schools, seminaries and madrasas in North Africa, Indian subcontinents, Timbuktu, Sudan and Mauritania. We are as a tradition know how to build institution, and this is our contribution to the world. Our first revelation was read, recite, repeat. Had Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chosen any other magnanimous word to begin the last revelation with, he would have chosen it. And therefore, he chose for us read, recite, repeat. And therefore, our obligation as a society, as a community, as a religion, to be those who are entrusted with knowledge. All knowledge, sacred knowledge indeed, but all knowledge, and this is what we have done in the past, and inshallah with Zaytuna and with our graduates, we will do in the future. Now, our graduation today is about Islam having an academic address in America, but with our new nine graduates, Islam will have nine new addresses that came out from Zaytuna College. <laughs> Islam in America is as old as the country, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And we have been in these lands from the beginning, and most often coming in the holes of ships as cargo, than free men and women. But despite the darknesses of the journey, and the hundreds of years passing, God had a different plan, and we are today part of that plan. Islam emerged again in the late 19th century and early 20th century after known research that 10 to 20 percent of all the slaves that were brought to America were on Muslim background. And therefore, as Islam is reborn again in the 20th century among African American communities, but following also a large number of immigrants that came thereafter. Therefore, Islam in this country is about linking the indigenous Muslim with the immigrant Muslim to make something, something magnanimous. Not something that is different than what happened in Medina. Al-Muhajirun wal-Ansar. Today, Zaytuna is about building a Muhajirun and Ansar community that will change and alter the perspective in this country. <laughs> then Zaytuna education is a humble attempt at changing the course of our own contemporary history and reconnect us collectively to Adam as the first student that was guided and directed, and directed to manifest divine purpose and mercy in this world. Our prophet described himself as a teacher. The role of a teacher is to inspire, to awaken in the student the desire to think and explore. And in the words of Socrates, I cannot teach anybody anything. I can only make them think. What we did in Zaytuna over the past four years, we had students that came trusting in the vision of the institution, trusting in Imam Zayd, Sheikh Hamza, and myself. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our deed. And if we did something wrong, we ask forgiveness from him for what we have undertaken. But we were sincerely committed 
to making the students think. We did not want to make copies of us. We wanted each one of them to be a leader on their own because our community need a thousand, if not a million leaders. Be a part of American Muslim history. This Ramadan, support the students and support the college.